Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to get updates on all of my latest videos. So today I wanted to share with you a cool little site for learning SQL or SQL as it is sometimes known. So this is a really helpful database language if you are going to be planning a career as a data scientist, data analyst, statistician, anything like this, you will often see SQL listed as one of the important skills that you need. Uh, but unfortunately, it's still not taught in some university courses. So even if you've gone through formal training, you may not have come across it. And if you are teaching yourself, then you may not yet have learned it. So we are here, mystery.nightlab.com, and they have the SQL murder mystery. So this is a fun little way to learn some SQL or SQL. And if we scroll down, uh, basically what they've got is this cute little scenario where we are trying to solve a murder, which I guess murder, maybe not so cute, uh, and they've got some embedded queries here. Uh, so there's a couple of queries to show you what the database looks like. And then a blank one to make your own calls. If you are absolutely new, you haven't, uh, haven't used SQL before or you are a little rusty, they also have a complete walkthrough. They also give a recommendation of a good complete tutorial as well. So if this is something that's new to you, here's the walkthrough and you can see that they start off right at the basics of defining what the letters are and what databases are, how it all gets put together, what is a query, and then as we come down, starting off with very simple one-line queries and stepping you through the kinds of things that you will need to do. So looking at different components of crime scene reports, looking at different people, and eventually getting down to the point where you are identifying who done it. If you already have some skills, you may go into the more experienced uh, track here where we've got the, the tables, we can look up and see what information is available to us, and then really the rest of it is up to you. So uh, making the queries and then eventually coming down here, putting in the name of who you think did it, Hitting run, uh, and when you get it right, then it will it will tell you. So wanted to share this with you. I am not affiliated with it in any way. I just came across it quite randomly and thought it was a nice little way to either learn new skills or do a little bit of a refresher. If it's something that you already have some experience with.